my niggas proud. Hard to believe knowing you live a lie. Still got love for enterprise. Rental after rental. Smoking, looking for an instrumental. Dope in the hotel, fucking sedentals. Make sure you finish, niggas are injured. These rappers is way too sentimental. Spent days trying to get with you, watching Kane and Old Dog. My shit is classical like Mozart. Book bag, go yard. In traffic, getting a blowjob. All I knew was go hard. I've been waiting for so long. I told you to. Oh, yo, I have been waiting for this. I have been waiting. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Finally, Bars Badly comes to a venue close enough for me to touch. Close enough for me to get to. September 4th, Bars Badly is in Detroit, Michigan. Detroit, Michigan. De Detroit, seventh mile. Detroit, Detroit. So it's only right. It's only right. You know it ain't summer madness without one man. So we cannot, we cannot do an event for Bars Detroit without saying these bars. I'm sorry, we gotta say these bars. And if you know, you know, say it with me. We gotta do it. We gotta do it, y'all ready? Here we go. You already know how I feel, Tommy. Gotta have that battle rap event in Detroit. Ain't nobody gonna get killed. Tommy! September 4th, it is going down. Nah, oh, this ain't Florida. This ain't Florida. No disrespect, conflicts. No disrespect, YBS. But nah, Florida. Gangsters gonna die to get chubby and they move to Miami. They move to Miami. You go down to Florida, you kick your feet up, you lay back, you relax. What you looking at? Ooh, fine dining restaurant. Ooh, the beach. Ooh, look at them ladies. Hey, ladies, where y'all going? I'm not saying, I'm not saying there ain't no fine dining restaurants in Detroit. I, I, I mean, they might not have the white tablecloth and they linda might not be folded in the swan shape, but I mean, the food's still good. Food's still good. I ain't saying there ain't no baddies in Detroit. I done seen Side of Baby with a baddie. I done seen 42 Doug with a 10, okay? I'm not saying, but there ain't no beach. You ain't gonna get me. ain't no beach. Somebody say, eh, somebody from Detroit tell you they finna take you to the beach, don't go. They finna take you to a cold, cold lake, put some concrete shoes on you, throw you in, you ain't coming out. You ain't coming out. They learn too much from Chicago. Things gonna be a little bit different in Detroit is all I'm saying. No disrespect to what they doing in Florida. Ain't nobody going to vacation in Detroit. You go to vacation, put your feet up in Detroit, you might get cute. Better keep your head on the swivel. Man, somebody take you out in Detroit, collect the price in your head and go get them some buffs. Look alive it's gonna be a different type of thing we ain't promote no violence ain't nobody gonna get killed tommy i say it like that because i'm real tommy i'm even have a trick trick to kill tommy well actually i i i think uh jd or don uno gonna have to handle getting in touch with trick trick i don't i don't got his number and i don't know if he check his instagram dm so you know that's that but, but somebody gonna have trick trick to chill tommy might have Calico come through, have Trick Trick Chill Tommy. It might cost a little bit of money, maybe a lot of bit of money. Yeah, I think Calico price is like Benjamin Franklin and maybe 40 of his twins under him or behind him. However, you know, you know. Y'all might be able to get QP. Say it again. Do the spin. Yeah. Yeah. Support. Support. Support, man. In all seriousness, we're going to need support. We're going to need support, man. Hank Nation, support, Alpha League, support. Man, Happy Ella, I want to see you. Happy Ella, I want to see you. Hey, okay, oh, ain't no, 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 ain't no, 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 don't, don't come. I want to see you too. I'm going to see you too. Stevie B, I want to meet all y'all, man. Come support. If, if, if not for Bars Bad League, not to meet me, come support Vicious Inc. Because if that boy ain't worth it. You know how some people like just 
they watch and they want to call themselves stuff like hey i'm gonna change my name to Superfire, call me Superfire. My name's Superfire, but everybody know you as Bug, so they gonna call you Bug. With with Vicious Ink, I think Vicious Ink, one of them cats, they kinda gave him his name and he ran with it. Like, like you do this and you do this, so we gonna call you this. No matter what your name is, this is what we call you. Vicious Ink is called Vicious Ink because he is vicious with the ink. You know what I'm saying? He didn't just make up his name, it was given to him. Like, it just be careful. Be if y'all ain't going to support, who you going to support? Support, man. Come on out, support. And, and if you can't come on out, support, $10, pay-per-view, support. Bars Badly, how many subscribers y'all got on YouTube? How many members are in your group? Real members. We know, we know people out there pretending to be like six different people. We ain't saying no names. But there's a couple men pretending to be females. And it's like, <laughs> how many subscribers bars got on the YouTube? How many true people is really in the group? Can we get y'all to support? Let me tell you, man. If you give Gator $1, if you give Scully G $1, if you give Falcata $1, if you give Scrap, if you give Chaotic, if you give Saucy Sancho, if you give JD the bad guy, if you give every bars MC one dollar, y'all almost got ten. I think y'all got like seven bucks. I think y'all got like seven bucks. If you give a dollar to each, and come on, man, three more dollars, get ten and support your guys. How many rounds is Gator giving you? How long is Falcata defending the championship title, the belt? How many rounds has Saucy done? How many rounds has Flip given you? How much performance has Scully G given you? Come on, man. Pick five of these guys and take $2 and support them. $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $5, get you a pay-per-view. Support. All we need is a little bit of support, man. All we need is a little bit of support. If you want to see Scully G versus Shotgun Shoes, you want to see Gator versus Chef Trez, support the league. You give $10, you give $10, you give $10, you give $10, you get. If they do that with a certain amount of people, they might have $2,000 to go to Shotgun Shoes and say, hey, we want to see you versus our guy Scully G. They might have a couple dollars to go to Dre Dennis and say, hey, we want to see you versus our guy Gator. We want to see you versus our champion Falcata. It, it, it takes a little bit of bread to make that happen. The league will match the money that y'all put. If y'all support, the league will support. The league can't do it themselves. Support. Support. I, I'm ranting. That's all I'm going to say about that. Let's get into the proceedings. Proceed. Proceed. What we predicted. Now, if you're a schemer, I'm going to give you tips to how you can win in a separate video. If if you are a uh, performer, I'm going to give you tips to how you can win in a separate video. But for right here, this is for the punchers. Punchers, I'm going to give you one tip. One thing, and I, I didn't see punchers, man. I, 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 I won't say I've been face to face with Rum Nitty like I was in front of him and he was battling me, but like I've I've been there when Rum Nitty was doing his thing punch for punch. I, I stood with B Magic. I I know punchers, man. I know punchers. I know what punches what brings punchers down. I know what makes punchers effective. So if you are a puncher, listen to this. If you've seen the Jake Paul fight, uh, his recent fight with Woodley, you don't want to do what Woodley did. Woodley was not very active, but a lot of punchers in battle rap think they can win by doing what Woodley did. Woodley went out and he threw great punches. He threw great, he connected, landed, had, he threw good punches. But that's it. All he did was throw punch punch but he wasn't throwing flurries he wasn't throwing combinations he was just throwing a punch for punch sake my punchers don't get into the ring 
and just throw punches for punch sake. Yes, we wanna hear bars. Yes, we wanna hear punch lines. But your punch is going to be way more effective if there is a setup. Any puncher needs to have a set up. Just like boxing, just like boxing. If you're throwing the jab out, you're not trying to hurt anybody. You, you're not gonna, you might be able to knock somebody out with a jab, but that's not what you're trying to do with your jab. With your jab, you're trying to put it out there to see what the other person is gonna do. They lean to this side, they lean to this side, they dip down, how do they slip? How do they slide? How do they evade your punch? And then what you want to do is set up a combination of punches to where one is going to land based off of their movement. Now, now you can't like 100% correlate that in the battle rap. It's not like you could throw jab, jab, jab and see what's he going to do. And then I'm going to throw. No, no. But I'm saying that you can throw a jab a setup punch. You could throw another jab. A setup punch. Punches that lead you into, hey, I'm throwing something heavy here. And there's a hint in this one. There's a hint in this one. And then you bring a bunch, that, uh, you bring a punch that delivers a lot of power. That 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 is like a, a haymaker or something that is designated to land, designated to, to, to do damage. Basically a power punch, man, a, a power punch. Too many guys just throw fire witty bars out, beautiful, well-written punches out with nothing around it to support. And yes, yes, it's a good punch and you can win a fight off of good punches. However, if you have setups around the punch, they make that punch more damaging and they make that punch better. I hope I said that in a good way. I kind of just went straight off the head with that one because I really wanted to talk about support. Really wanted to talk about support, needed support uh, for uh, for this event. But man, we got a lot of good battles September 4th. We got a lot of good artists for all those punchers out there. For all those punchers, man. A lot of you guys punch very well. Set up. Set up set up when you look at the punch and you're like oh mm, that one's gonna work oh look at what's around that punch that sets it up to be better you have your chicken you have your main your your your, your main dish your, your 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 main thing on the plate what are you going to put around it to complement that flavor same with your punch. Put some setups around it to complement that punch. Put some things around that punch that's gonna make it stronger and make it land. If you punchers can set up, I think y'all can win y'all battles.